Hey guys, it's Gilly Reed with the InvaBuilds Audio Guide to Jim's PVT Phoenix Colossus build. Don't forget to check the video description below for a link to the InvaBuilds website, where you'll find tips on this build and other replays of it in action. In a second, I'll ask you to pause this video while you start a game against an easy AI Terran opponent. Once the game loads, pause it and come back here. I'll then give you a countdown and you can resume your game. Ready? Pause the video. Welcome back. Get ready to unpause the game and start your first probe in 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, go. You just started your first probe. Keep making them. You'll warp in your first pylon after starting your ninth probe. You should have just started your ninth probe. When you get close to 100 minerals, pull out a probe to warp in a pylon near your nexus. Then return it to mining. Your pylon should finish around the same time as your 10th probe. When able, start an 11th probe and chrono boost it out. Chrono boost the Nexus. Use your 12th probe to warp in a gateway before mining. Once you've started your gateway, send out a probe to scout your opponent's base. Warp in two assimilators. You should be at 15 supply. Send a probe to your ramp to warp in a pylon. Chrono boost your nexus, then put two probes on each assimilator. Warp in a cybernetics core as soon as the gateway finishes. At 100 minerals, start a zealot. This zealot is for defensive purposes only and should be cancelled if there's no aggression from your opponent by the time you expand. Send a probe to the natural. You should be at 22 supply. If you see no Terran aggression by this point, cancel your zealot and start a nexus at the natural. Halt probe production after this one. Start a mothership core and chrono boost it out. Then start warp gate research and put one more probe on each assimilator. Warp in a pylon. When your mothership core finishes, resume probe production and chrono boost the nexus. Send your mothership core to scout your opponent's buildings unless he opened with reapers. Start a stalker at the gateway. Pull out a probe to warp in a stargate, then send it to the natural to warp in an assimilator. Chrono boost the nexus. Your stalker is done. Start a sentry at the gateway. Position the stalker defensively if your opponent opened with reapers. Otherwise, use it to deny scouting. Chrono boost the nexus. Start probe production at your new nexus and transfer excess probes to it. Put three probes on the assimilator and change the main's rally point to the natural's minerals. Warp in a robo facility. You should be at around 35 supply. Start an oracle at the stargate and chrono boost it out.
warp and a pylon. Chrono boost your main nexus. Warp in a pylon. Send out your oracle to your opponent's base. Start an observer at your robo and chrono boost it out. Transform your gateway into a warp gate. Build a robo bay and another assimilator. Start another observer now. Warp in three pylons. Chrono boost your natural nexus. Put three probes on your new assimilator. Warp in two more gateways. Start a Colossus and Extended Thermal Lance. Chrono boost the Robo Bay. Start Phoenix production at the Stargate. Change your main's rally point back to its own minerals. Chrono boost the Robo facility in Stargate. Make another phoenix after this one, up to seven. Position them to defend versus drops until you take your third base. Transform your gateways into warp gates. Start another colossus after this one, up to seven. You'll want to make a few more than normal builds. Chrono boost the robo facility. Warp in two pylons, start another phoenix, and chrono boost the stargate. Warp in a zealot and another two pylons. Chrono boost the robo, then warp in two sentries. Start another phoenix and chrono boost it out. Chrono boost the robo again as well. Warp in a zealot and start another colossus. Continue colossus and phoenix production, up to seven each, while using your oracle to scout through the mid game. By 10 minutes, you should have two colossi, three phoenixes, several gateway units, a mothership core and oracle, and more than 50 probes, or around 90 supply. Favor using your oracle for scouting versus losing it while pressuring with it. Once you see your opponent expand, take your third base as well. Transition from the Colossus Phoenix mid game to the standard Colossus Archon High Templar late game by getting two forges and several more gateways once you've taken your third. When your oracle dies, use your phoenixes to take map control and kill SCVs when you can. Good luck and have fun!